I've been practicing really hard, but nothing just seems to be working. <laughs> That's because you're so easily distracted by soft things. Okay? We, we have to... We're, this is a hard game. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get hard, man. Game. You never, you never, you never look at it from my perspective. Maybe we could be soft. Okay, I'll, I'll, look at, I'll look at it from your perspective. It's still Sudoku. <laughs> All right, it's not changing. We let's. It's serious. We're gonna do this game. Focus. I'm okay. focused. We, we can. <laughs> we can get rid of all of the soft things, and you won't be distracted. Right? I think I would be distracted because I would be sad. I am sad even just at the thought of the soft things being gone. <laughs> okay, well, I, I picked you as my Sudoku partner because I'm tough and you balance me out, right? We are a good team. Oh, but you're not doing the Sudoku and you're unfocused. Okay. You're good at the Sudoku. I'm good at the calm. <laughs> the soft and the calm. Okay, this would work there. It would work there. <laughs> you know, this isn't as soft as I wanted it to be. <laughs> this is this is, this, is, this is soft. It's, it's very soft. No, I don't like those things. I don't like that. Focusing on math. Math is hard. It's tough. You don't like me? <laughs> By definition, as it has been established, I'm tough. You're soft. So, no, I don't like you. Then solve your own Sudoku. <laughs> <laughs> You can't. <laughs> it's too hard. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> it looks like it's going very hard <laughs> for you. I'm having a grand old soft time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back to the end, huh, boss? Yeah. <laughs> These murders just don't get any easier to solve. <sighs> <laughs> it's like every day they're finding a new way to murder. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. One day, <sighs> you see a guy stabbed with a knife. <laughs> the next day, you see him strangled by his own bathrobe. It's disgusting. Your mother. Oh. I told you not to bring it up, boss. <laughs> we'll find it. God, I hope so. I see you back, boss. Yeah. <laughs> These construction jobs, they just don't get any easier. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> you just you just work. And what? And then the scaffolding falls. The metal, the metal beams. They fall. You know, boss. I know. So hard. It's like every day the bricks are getting looser. The buildings are getting leaner. What are we there for? Are we doing anything useful? I mean, put the buildings up. <laughs> Do you mean anything? We're construction workers. And your mother. <laughs> I asked you not to bring them up. <laughs> I will find her. <laughs> I'll find her. Hey, boss. <laughs> <laughs> These preschoolers. <laughs> it's not getting any easier to manage.
We keep dying. <laughs> so, according to the research we've been doing, um, people just aren't buying books like they used to. That's all that I had to bring to the table. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret, you never come to these scholastic meetings prepared. I thought I was bringing some relevant information. We're irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret, you always bring information, but you never bring solutions. Well, Tony, I was bringing it up to you in the hopes that you would have a solution. <clears throat> you know I'm not the solution guy. Oh, yeah. We lost that guy. And now Bobby has to fill the role. <laughs> Bobby, do you know how to get the kids to start buying books again? We need those scholastic readers, Bobby. Yeah, Bobby. What do you got to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> I like the way he. I like the way he thinks. I think, yeah, I think that's what he's saying. You, you gotta know? get more from this. Yeah. Guy. I think he's got a point there, you know. I think I think kids can really relate to sad, sad books. Bobby, tell me about the books. Tell it, Bobby. Memory. 
Sometimes she couldn't even be bothered to open those Lunchables. It was amazing. Yeah, she wouldn't even bother to, to clean up. She, that's why she named us Broom and Dustpan. <laughs> Man, we ate so many Lunchable containers. You know, sometimes at night before I go to bed, I pray to her. No. Broom. And I can think of her. <laughs> you sound just like her, Dad! <laughs> I say, Mom, and she doesn't answer, you know, classic. No, she wouldn't! <laughs> she wouldn't answer, no. does friend. <laughs> Tell me you pray. Of course, of course I pray. Bless. I just, you know, in, in the way that Mom would, would pray. Right, not at all. <laughs> just lying face down on the floor, just... Prayer. Oh, you look just like her. I remember the night we were you were conceived. You look just like her. And then I opened the lunchables for him and I said, what else do you want from me, kid? Jesus, you opened it? <laughs> I know. I went above and beyond. Wait, hold on. Was that the pizza Lunchables? Because I think that's too good for them. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. I think it's ham and cheese in this house. Yeah. You get turkey on Easter. You don't need a refrigerator. You just keep it out straight in the sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get that warm ham. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best Lamontis class I've ever been to. <laughs> women really get me. You know, I thought before I had kids that my life was good. And it was. <laughs> but you guys are my solace. Mm. You know, I really look up to you sometimes. I, my kids can be so difficult. Every day they're like, do you love me? And I'm like, oh. again? <laughs> I look up to you. <laughs> I look up to you too. I see my kids and I go. Oh. I respect you so much. Are those even my kids? I think I traded them accidentally at a Walmart. They just got lost and so I picked up some new ones. Are they better? I can't tell you. <laughs> They're your kids, Barbara. They got that same walrus mouth that you got. <laughs> You know that? Tell me more about that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> my, kids, my kids act all spoiled and shit. I said tell me more about that. About you. Yeah. My kids are so fucking spoiled that I, t I tell them, I, I say, OK, I'm going to go see my friends. And they're like, we didn't get dinner. <laughs> A fucking nerve. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's why I look up to you. That's why I look up to you. That, yeah, I do that too. <laughs> I said two fucking feet. Sorry. <laughs> I know you guys look up to me. And why wouldn't you? Would this beehive? I'm just very tall. <laughs> Not at all. Completely useless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kids are stupid. I see you as my fairy godmother. Yeah. You're there for me. Yeah. When I leave my kids alone, you're there. <laughs> Tell me more about that. <laughs> I just, sometimes I just walk out of the house when I don't want to see him. I'm just so loud. 
And you're next door with that beehive, just smoking cigarettes on the porch. And they want like to have somewhere to be, you know? Walrus mouth. You got some walrus mouth visitors standing in there. <laughs> <laughs> we are the union of neglected children. <laughs> oh. and But you still kept your chihuahua, right? <laughs> See, PETA was having really <laughs> trading value on chihuahuas. So if you bring in a toy, a miniature, or a standard chihuahua, <laughs> you could get a bull mastiff for $2. <laughs> We're going to need to rebrand this club. <laughs> I was thinking about that. The Bull Mastiff President's Dog Club. So what kind of chihuahuas do I need to trade in? A miniature. Got it. A small. Used to have one. And a standard size I chihuahua. Kill for a standard. <laughs> hey, Bull. I'm so glad to be part of the <laughs> we love our children club. <laughs> Paul, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Oh, I traded my children in. <laughs> what? <laughs> For plants. <laughs> Jasmine? <laughs> yeah. Do you know where she is? Is she okay? No. <laughs> you see, the orphanage down the street has had some really good sale. A sale? <laughs> you trade in your youngest, oh God. the middle, and the oldest child, <laughs> and you can get a Monstera for $2. <laughs> <laughs> 